All right, it's always helpful to know how the boss is feeling right now. And uh, right now, these days, if you want to stop in and see uh, him or her, uh, pretty upbeat. 54% of U.S. CEOs are highly confident in U.S. economic growth over the next three years. That is more than double what it was just a year ago. So the man in charge of that survey and uh, whose calls they all answered, KPMG Global Chairman John Meyer. John, very good to have you. Thanks, Neil. So this, these were more than 1,000, 1,300 CEOs across a broad swath. Across right? the world. Um, disproportionately optimistic here in the United States. Yeah, it's interesting this year. Uh, confidence levels are high, I think, broadly speaking, across the globe based on our survey. But uh, everywhere but the U.S., there are actually lower levels of confidence than in our prior year survey. The U.S. is the only market where... CEOs are more confident than they were last year, which is interesting. What has the more confident? You know, I think it has a lot to do with the, uh, the current agenda in the U.S., regulatory reform, tax reform, hopes for hopes regulatory for. reform, tax reform, infrastructure spending, all those things we're trying to talk about here in the U.S. and trying to get some movement on. Do they worry, uh, and of course this is a more recent development, but do they worry with like, you know, the Attorney General Sessions testifying today, more talk about Russia, Comey, hearings and all and all that, that it distracts or even takes away, delays, even denies that agenda that they want to see. Listen, obviously those are important issues, but I was in Washington last week with a group of CEOs and uh, what the CEOs in this country want focus on are jobs, tax reform, regulatory reform, infrastructure spend, right? That's what's going to get this economy going. That's what's going to get more people um, Do they base wage their gap hiring on that optimism? Else. In other words, if, even if it doesn't come to fruition right away, they are banking on tax cuts happening. They are banking on regulations being rolled back or at least not advancing. They're banking on a, a, some sort of help from Washington. If it's delayed or denied, does that optimism turn to cynicism or what? Well, there is no doubt, for example, if we don't get tax reform done this year, uh, I think you will see a drop off in really? optimism on the part so of the it has to be a this year event. Well, we have to get it done. I think there's a lot of people who understand the process better than I do who will tell you if we don't get it done this year, the prospects of getting it done, or early in 18, the prospects of getting it done drop off quite a bit uh, before the midterms. In other words, they're so, cynical in a midterm election year 2018 that it's very tough to get that kind of stuff through. It's tough to get something like tax reform done any time. Any year, yeah. And uh, uh, this is clearly the window I think a lot of us believe we have where we have the best chance of getting that done. And to the point of employment, it's interesting, the CEOs in our survey clearly link you see a direct corollary between levels of confidence and optimism over the next three years with plans for hiring over the next three years as well. So it's still upbeat, a little bit soft compared to last year, but still um, a lot of hiring on the plans of CEOs in our survey. So this seems to be Donald Trump-centric. I'm not trying to overly politicize it, but if he's in trouble or his approval numbers remain low, and that's always subject to change, um, then what? You know, the issue, I think, is can we get some things done in Washington? And obviously the president has a part to play in that, but so does Congress. And, uh, so it's a message, uh, not the messenger as much. I think that's absolutely the mindset of CEOs across the country, that um, we want to be part of a process of trying to move the economy, move the country forward. And that's going to take business, Congress, White House, I think, all working together. And that's the agenda we're focused on right now. But again, the year-over-year -year numbers, we're the ones improving in this country, not so abroad. That's interesting. It is. High. I, it's still high numbers, but just not as high as last year. You know, I think irrespective of some of the political things that we're talking right. about here, I think when, I, when you travel around the world and people say, if I had one dollar to invest, and I don't mean in the market, I mean in business and employment, I'd do it in the U.S. So the U.S. is still perceived as one of the healthiest economies around the world.